Today I'm going to show you a real simple mechanism to test gold and silver. I managed to get a really good fake silver coin so we can put that to the test today and it uses a really simple physics principle that I'll outline a little bit more uh, afterwards. First I'll show you the silver coins. Alright here's the silver coins. One of them is real, one of them is fake. You can, I'll just flip them around for you. I'm sure connoisseurs may be able to tell. I actually, not being that familiar with this coin, would not be able to tell. And what's really good about this fake, good in a bad way I suppose, is that it's not magnetic. So it can't be told apart that way. Also, it weighs around 30 grams, so the real coin should be 1 ounce, 31 grams, so it's very close there. And the dimensions are pretty much the same. So, let's do a test on it. Silver is the most conductive metal, followed by copper, followed by gold. So, using a magnet to pass over a silver coin will essentially the silver coin will slow down the magnet as it moves over the coin so we're going to test this coin first and see what number we get up on the dial and the real silver coin is going to slow down the magnet the most because it has the strongest conductivity or the 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 uh, basically it has the biggest force on the magnet to slow it down right so this one is going up past 50 etc we're counting the oscillations here that's what we're doing it's a really simple mechanism and we get a result of 72 okay so let's test the other one reset the test we see that this one has a much stronger dampening force. It has much, it's much more conductive than the fake coin. So that tells us that that's the real coin. Okay, so what's happening? Um, this bowl of water would represent the silver or gold coin in the situation that we have there. And it's viscosity or how difficult it is to move something through it represents the conductivity or how difficult it is to move the electrons around the uh, the coin. So when the magnet comes down, it essentially gets slowed down because energy has to be transferred to the electrons which move around inside the silver or gold coin. So this dissipation of energy to the coin, which would be in the in terms of heat, will mean that the pendulum loses energy if you like so in this analogy the viscosity of the liquid would be equivalent to the conductivity of the metal so silver for instance being the most conductive would be like a really thick treacle it would really slow down the pendulum as it moves through it and then as we move our way down through the metals we find that they have less and less viscosity or they slow the magnet down less and less. And what we're doing here is we're using the property that silver is the most conductive metal and gold is the third most conductive to um, eliminate all the other metals that could be used to create fakes, right? That only leaves copper as a possibility with a strong magnetic field that could slow the magnet down. But copper is very light. It's not half as dense as silver or gold. So all we need to do is measure the coin to make sure that there's no copper in it, essentially. So that's how the idea works, and I hope this analogy gives you some idea of what I'm talking about. Now, this is a little message for the physics buffs who like this gadget. I would love to hear from you if you think you can solve the equations. I've put in the comments a link to a paper that's very close to a solution to this type of problem but um, we're reorientating the problem. It's the Voltenhofen's pendulum experiment from the 19th century. Um, we've just changed the problem around and we're considering the shape of the coin and the distance between the magnet and the coin needs to be put into the equations. It would take about postgraduate physics 
level so no high school answers please and from an engineering point of view it works um, we're already we already have the product in development we're coming out with the first hundred of them by Christmas and if you want to be one of the people who gets one of those first hundred go on to the eonbullion.com website sign up and we'll email you we intend to co incorporate into the device both a means of weighing your coin and a means of measuring the dimensions as well all in one simple tester and it's going to be mechanical rather than digital like what you saw there it's very interesting from a physics point of view but i think gold and silver lovers um, like the tactile element of gold and silver so I hope you find it interesting as well. Um, if you do, uh, just sign up on uh, the eonbullion.com website.